our last class, so let's make this one extra fun. We're gonna start off by singing a song and doing a little dance, so I can't wait to dance with you guys. <laughs> to say the Pledge of Allegiance, the Pledge to the Christian Flag, and then the Pledge to the Bible. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. Its words will I hide my heart that I might not sin against God. All right, let's pray. And this time, let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Hands together like this and head down. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Awesome. I see that some of you guys remembered the prayer from last week. So let's get straight into the lesson. Today's lesson is about hope. As we saw in our very first video, the boat had hope. Our friend had a dream and he was able to make a boat and the boat slid down the stream. The boat looked like it had a goal. It looked like it had a dream, but just like in our lives, it had a few challenges along the way, but hope that it will get to its destination. 
or it will fulfill its dream. I want to tell you a story about my friend, Jason. Jason's preschool class was learning how to write their ABCs. Their teacher, Ms. Johnson, showed everybody how to make sticks on their paper. And every day, the children practiced making their sticks. But Jason really struggled with making his sticks. He tried so, so hard. But his sticks kind of look like candy canes. Where his sticks are supposed to look like this, they look like that. But Ms. Johnson helped him out. That's what a teacher is for. Ms. Johnson held his hand and, and helped him draw his sticks correctly. Then when it got time, she let go of his hand and told him that he hopes that he can do it all by himself now. With the help of Ms. Johnson, Jason was able to draw a perfect stick all by himself. And Ms. Johnson said he was finally able and ready to write his ABC. It reminds me of a time when I was learning how to ride a bike. I really wanted my mom to stay with me on my bike. Don't let me go. But there came a time when she had to release me. She had to trust that I have learned how to ride a bike so, by myself. And I had hope that I could do it all by myself. Jason had hope that he could write his ABCs and draw his sticks all by himself. There's even a story in the Bible about a woman who was having so much trouble. We call her the lady with an issue of blood. Throughout the years, she had hope that she will find what is wrong and she will be healed. And she was able to meet Jesus and guess what? She was healed. She had hope with a small little ounce of faith. That's all you need. We talked about trust. We talked about faith. And when we mix that all together and include our prayers at night, we have hope. We have hope that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We have hope that we can do anything that we put our minds to. So let's learn a little bit more about this woman's story. Hey guys, my name is Tubby. I live here in this wonderful library and I love to eat books. I live here with my friends Gumbo and Freckles. children i just got up from a nice long nap freckles you look so pretty today oh thank you holy it's my new dress what that's new it looks like everything else you wear so would you children like to hear an interesting story from the bible that's what we're here for we can't wait okay i won't keep you waiting anymore i will tell you a story but do you know what you have to do after that? Yes, answer the question you ask us. Very good. Now, this story is about the woman who got healed. Wherever Jesus went, there was always a crowd of people around him. Some people wanted to be healed by him, while others asked him to heal their loved ones. One day, there was a woman in the crowd who had been ill for many years and was in a lot of pain. She had given a lot of money to doctors, but they couldn't help her at all. She believed in Jesus and his wonderful healing powers. She wanted to meet him as soon as possible. She thought, if I can just touch his clothes, I know I will be healed. At last, she met Jesus. She was able to touch a part of Jesus' cloak. She knew at once that she had been healed. Suddenly, Jesus stopped and asked, Who touched my cloak? The followers said, There are so many people around you. But Jesus kept looking in the crowd. Finally, the woman who had been healed came out. She fell at his feet, very scared. She told him that she had touched his cloak. Jesus said kindly, My child, it is not my cloak, but your faith in me that has healed you. Go in peace 
and be free of your illness. Awesome! Now, now, here comes the question. Which part of Jesus' clothing did the woman touch and feel she was healed? I know, I know. She touched Jesus' clothes. Isn't that right, Holy? Yes, it is absolutely right, Freckles. Well done. Now let me join you children in your song. Sure, Holy. was an awesome story. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If we have hope, we believe in God's promises. And God promised to never leave us. God is always by our side. When we pray to him, he hears us. He will always, always be there for us. I have a friend. Our friend from last week is going to tell us a little bit more about God's promises and how he feels about them. Peekaboo! Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that you probably already know, but I know I forget this a lot, and, and I think a lot of us do, is that God is always with you. And like I said, you probably hear that all the time. God is always with you, God is everywhere, that sort of thing. But it can be so easy to forget that God is with us. So my challenge to you guys today is this. It's next time you feel the presence of God, next time you know God is there for you, next time you recognize that God is at work powerfully. I want you to really remember. So let's all remember the times that we have felt the presence of God. So that even in the times when we feel like we might be alone or we feel like, like God isn't there, we will know that God is always with us. Thank you, Douglas. All right, guys, let's review our memory verses from the very first week all the way up to this final week. From week one, we talked about trust and our memory verse came from Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Then we went on to week two where we talked about faith. And our memory verse for week two was Hebrews 11 and 1. Faith is believing without seeing. Our memory verse for week three, when we talked about prayer, came from Ephesians 6 and 18. Pray for all the saints. Our memory verse for this week is Romans 5 and 5. Hope doesn't let us down because God gives us love. Let's say that again. Hope does not let us down because God gives us love. One more time and you already know we have to shout it to the top of our lungs. Hope doesn't let us down because God gives us love. Awesome, awesome job guys. Since this is our last week, we are not going to do a craft but if you have any crafts left over, please feel free to work on them and color them and take pictures of them so that I can see everything that you guys are doing at home. Well, I've had so much fun with you guys the last few weeks and I'm so sad to see our time is coming to an end, but we had an awesome lesson today. And I hope you remember every day when you wake up to pray have trust in God and your friends and your parents. Have faith that everything that you need, God will provide. And have hope that he will be there for us. Hope that God's love is great and it's enough. And remember, every step you take, every move you make, whether asleep or awake, there's no mistake. Our God is in the midst. Fear just cannot exist. With Jesus, we can't miss. With Jesus, we got this. See you guys next year in 2021. Have a great year. Bye. Okay, baby, we're here. Now, I know this is a new school and all, but remember, God has not given us a spirit of fear right yes dad i know 
but I just don't know anybody here, and I want to make a difference for Christ. I do, but I just don't know if I can. Oh, baby, just remember, in Jesus, you got this. Okay, Dad, if you say so. In the Bible, Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And if God said it, I have to believe it. That means in Jesus, we got this, we got this, we got this. So what happens if a bully comes to confront you? Man, in Jesus, you got this. Okay, so what if it seems like I just don't fit in? me and need me a super friend didn't you realize jesus was there all alone now you got the power to do all these cause he makes you strong i'll never walk alone now i'm in the zone cause he's on the throne now i'm standing here my path is clear no longer blurry no fear no worries every step i take Just can't exist. Right. With Jesus, I can't miss. With Jesus, we got faith.